All right, you kids, then uh, on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. i just been hanging around here, and I just want you all to remember my three rules for success and happiness in life. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Now, here comes my young nephew and his daughter, and you want to watch this show because it's going to be damn good. And uh, ain't it funny how time slips away? There's a chill down my spine that I can't seem to thaw. A face in the window I thought I saw. I was just looking for somewhere cheap to vacation. But I found the whole other price that I seem to be paying. Cause this house is haunted, I can feel it at night Something comes on when I turn off the light Thought when I answered the ad that I'd get what I wanted But I'm wishing I never had Cause this house is haunted Live from the Roller Room Studios. Something's under my bed, something's outside. A really big old time radio medicine show, Three Chords and the Truth, starring Molly Griffin and her old dog, Do. Did you see Uncle Willie? Holy I might be Joel. okay if I stay under the cover. I haven't, seen Willie for, I haven't seen Uncle Willie for a while. Thought I was alone, but I'm starting to think there are others. Cause this house is haunted, I can feel it at night Something comes on when I turn off the light Thought when I answered the ad that I'd get what I wanted But I'm wishing I never had Cause this house is haunted And I want my mom and my dad, cause this house is haunted. Yeehaw! That's a damn fine little song you sang there, Ma. This house is haunted. Did you write that song? Yes, I did. That's a dippy little song, Ma. <laughs> we gotta sing a real song for the people now, Ma. Okay. Give me a so, break. um, what do you think? There's a lot of them. The one here. I think I gotta relax. So I'm. Yeah, I tell you what I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing uh, the thing for America right now. They gotta get together, right? Yeah. So this is how they're gonna get together. Okay. You go ahead. You look funny. <laughs> you are funny. I took a double take out on that interstate. I saw her making eyes at me. I followed her down to the clubhouse drive past a pool on the 18th green. And in the parking lot, I said, it's mighty hot. Maybe I could buy you a beer, Halloween beer. Glad you asked, I'm gonna have to pass, cause only members are allowed in here. Hey, I'm a member of a country club hey, Country music is what I love I drive a little electric truck I do my drinking from a Dixie cup Hey, I'm a bona fide dancing fool I shoot a mighty mean game of pool 
Head in a honky tonk a roadside pub I'm a member of a country club Head in a honky tonk a roadside pub I'm a member of a country club Oh Lord, you look so inviting I thought it might be exciting For a woman with a limousine To go riding around in a beat-up truck with a man in worn out jeans It's five o'clock on Friday night Here's where the fun begins And don't you worry about your reputation Cause you can tell all your friends That I'm a member of a country club Hey, country music is what I love I drive a little old beat up truck. I do my drinking from a Dixie cup. And I'm a bona fide dancing fool. I shoot a mighty mean game pool. At any honky tonk or roadside pub. I'm a member of a country club. At any honky tonk or roadside pub. We're all members of a country club. You got a key on that baby right there? Hey, wait, hey, we gotta go take a ride. We gotta take a ride now. We gotta Spooky take a ride, ride out past the city limits. Time. What's the key on that? <sighs> low places right there. Low places that usually has been in like a B. Okay, let's take the Bradford. I gotta <laughs> move it down here so I got a little bit more bass. Squeeze the pig. It's a teaching hospital. <laughs> Some kind of hospital. What was I doing again? Oh, I'm going to take your ride. Oh, you got to step outside the door to your mind. Jump in the old black Cadillac limo. She's waiting just outside the door to your mind. We're going to take a ride. Take the Halloween ride, Ma. I pass the honky tonk. And pass the county line. Pass the county to the amber ways of green. Oh, pass the dairy cow. To the, big to the old country road. country road. The old county line road. Don't take it Oh, these are just the old road. Oh, the country road. Existentialist. Yeah. Dostoevsky can't own him do. Yeah. I'd be a problem if your name was Kent. He must be kind of like, is he kind of depressed? Well, he'd be in a country was where... He a negative, negative that, person? No, he'd be in a country where that word didn't mean what it means here. Oh, I see. <laughs> Might have been Germany. Yeah. I know a lot of the German words are the same, but whatever. Okay, now where are we again? They're going to give you your special oh, tea. Oh, they're going to give you your special tea, so it's going to turn the whole experience into the uh, psychedelic uh, prairie home companion. They're going to send you down the stairs here to the Brother Room Studios for the really big old-time radio medicine show, Three Chords and the Truth, starring Molly Rippin and her old dog, Do. And the Reverend Dr. Joey G, too, coming to you live from Station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind, where the show starts in five minutes. And we don't spin the tunes on the turntable, we spin them on our souls. So kick back, chill out, and relax to the mellow sounds. God of the 
this morning I grabbed my gun DJ. Took a shot of cocaine And away I run my journey on there and, and you, you I, I know you stopped in the right place where i uh, usually stop yeah. but you know i was just getting so excited yeah because like i said last night every night's terror yeah it's a horror it's, it's a like horror. marlon brando in that show where he puts a, his hand on his bald head and he goes to the horror <laughs> what was I that don't show know that one. a vietnam show you know uh, he was over in the not apocalypse. he was over in laos or whatever cambodia or whatever huh not apocalypse man I might be I always one get of them. I get them no, too no, no. confused. Yeah, uh, platoon, apocalypse now. No, not platoon. I don't not get platoon. that confused now. Apocalypse now and ah, shit. What the hell? I think it's the one. Uh, you know where Duval goes. I think that's Hello? apocalypse now. Is that apocalypse? I think now? so. I oh haven't seen well, it and though. that's where Brand. Oh yeah, Brando would have been in that. That's a big Italian guy. Yeah. Right. What's yeah. his name? Uh, Martin Scorsese. The guy who made it. No, it's not Scorsese. Uh, it's the other know. big guy. You know the, you know the, Ford the, yeah, huh. who we like to watch his uh, nephew. Yes. What's his name? Uh, Nicholas Cage. Correct, Mundo. <laughs> it should be cor- uh, Nicholas Cageo. <laughs> <laughs> I think he changed his name because he didn't want to be riding on the name of his y- family. Yeah, he didn't. I think he's a Coppola. Well, I guess getting in, he did. You know, he might not have got in in the very first yeah, place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But he's a pretty potent guy. I think he would have got in. Yeah. He's a, ki- he a real character face on him and everything else. Yeah. Okay, shut up, Mom. Quit talking so much. <laughs> what the hell's <laughs> going on tonight? Gay. Okay, I'm telling you, I didn't really want to come on tonight because I'm like, you know how I've been talking about things. Yeah. You talk about I turned on the news today. The Russians with the big pharma down in Ontario that ended up swinging for the, from the rafters. Mm-hmm. Okay? I told you about that. And I told you that we need to get behind Gilad uh, mm-hmm. Matzo Ball. What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> you just always call him Gilad, so I don't know. Matson or something like that. He's a Jewish jazz musician who goes around talking about what? About the situation. And it's situation? really, really bad because today I turned the no- news on and the kids, you know, the billionaire kids of those people who uh-huh. are now the billionaires who probably were before. Yeah. They're putting out a 10 million bounty yeah. trying to get any evidence. Uh-huh. They found them hanging by their belts yeah. in their basement, right? Yeah. Billionaire big pharma people. Yeah. There's some angry people. Yeah. Some people are very angry. And I turned the news on and some guy goes into a synagogue and... Etc. I'm not kidding you. She's going to blow. Yeah. You can't take a bunch of people and take them from $35, $40, $50 and just say, okay, now you work for this Chinese billionaire. You get $12 an hour and then watch him on TV say, oh, you're still getting six times what my people are getting. Yeah. See? They're going to blend her into third world. Well, they're going to revolt. Yeah. There'll be a shit will hit the fan. You don't have to be starving to death. If you take the, it's a relativity. Mm -hmm. You know, when they settle a a, a divorce case, Mm -hmm. they always think about what she was getting during it. Yeah. Well, that's where they got screwed. Yeah. They got screwed. They didn't have, yeah. Yeah. It's like she was getting a thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Then in the divorce, she gets two hundred now. Yeah. That's all I'm giving you. Yeah. Because you're already making more than we are. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can't do that. It's a relative thing. Yeah. It's a relative thing. Yeah. And I'm saying, Gilad Monson, Monson, look it up. <laughs> Jasmine, yeah, you, you already said it. Yeah. Bad things are happening. Well, now. yeah, well somebody got to do something about it because she's going to blow. Because I'm afraid they're, they're not going to, like, negotiate. They're just going to keep screwing down the can. Yeah. And she'll blow. Yeah. And as usual, it's the regular people that get punished for what the people in charge That's are doing. That's the problem. That's the problem, because I'll often say a tribe's name, you know, but mm-hmm. I'm never talking about the people. Yeah. I'm talking about the leaders. Yeah. People just follow the leaders. They all follow their leaders. That's the way people are. Yeah. No, it's the leaders. 
Remember that. Should Follow you know the leaders, just a bunch of cheaters. I just made that up, Ma. You made really? where's, the, where's the pig? Will you grab pig that pig? Away. I gotta have my pig, Ma. I love pigs. <laughs> my old lady's a pig, man. Now, just a minute. Oh, you know what, Ma? I'll tell you after this. Big announcement. Big announcement after this song. What is this song? This song is... Oh, I had a good one. I had a good one. And it was... It was, it was, I told you so. I was being no. the blue. Because you told us so. Oh, <laughs> okay, but I'll have to do that but in we the don't G2. Have to do, we can do what no. you were doing. Wait, how's it start? Suppose I called you up here. Oh my god, Mom. We don't have to do it. <laughs> Suppose I called you up tonight, told you that I loved you. Suppose I said I want to come back home. Suppose I cried and said I think I finally learned my lesson And I'm tired of spending all my time alone If I told you that I realize you're all I ever wanted And it's killing me to be so far away you tell me that you love me too and Would we cry together? Or would you simply laugh at me and say would you say I told you so? But you, you had to go. Tell me someday you come calling back and asking me to let you in. Would you say I told you so? But you, you had to go. Now I found somebody new You'll never break my heart into again That old time feeling of laughing talk for hours The way we did when I love first began I told you that I missed you so And that you'd been so long And you waited for the day that I'd return And we'd live in love forever And I'm your one and only Or would you say the table's finally turned Say I told you so I, I told you so I told you someday you come calling back and asking me to let you in Would you say I told you so But you had to I found somebody new You'll never break my heart into again Hey, I found somebody new You'll never break my heart into again Hey, I found somebody new You'll never break my heart into oh, again Say I told you so. <laughs> we got through, Ma. We got through. <laughs> it's a podcast. Are you in the traffic? What the hell? You're lucky you don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's horror. The horror. It, do I li- does it look good down like that? I like it. My horror. <laughs> the horror of the really big old time radio medicine show, eh, Ma? Yeah. Pretty much. Well, we got through the bad stuff, didn't we? But I'm not kidding about it. We got to get behind Gilad, and we got to do something about it because she's gonna blow. Yeah. When the black people and the Hispanic people find out what that guy found out, mm-hmm. and you know what, you know a lot of people can see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You're not dealing with a certain group of people. You're dealing with people that are freaky. Yeah. This is a melting pot. You know the only way that melting pots works. 
very is slowly. if everybody's getting what they want, yeah. then it'll be okay. Yeah. But I want to tell you, you take it away from the wrong people, the melting pot is a disaster yeah. area. Yep. It's an experiment. Yep. Lucky they got nukes. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Praying to the ginger savior. Okay, here. This is a good. Oh, no, this is even better because this is late. Okay. Late harder. Yeah, late, late, late. Something yeah, down in the Golf late. Islands. You ever heard of the Golf Islands? I've heard of them. Mm, it's kind of like tell. cough when we golf. I don't oh, know. I thought it was golf. Maybe it's go. But whatever. It's islands that the sailors, back 100 years or something, mm -hmm. maybe more, mm -hmm. they left some mice. Oh. That le the mice ran off the boat. Yeah. You know, it was probably going to storm, and they were leaving, and you know how they exit. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. That's how we got wrecked. Well, those mice flourished. Yeah. Now they're eating all the birds, and they're right down to making the albatross ins extinct. Oh, my God. And they got to mm. go in there and get their damn mice out. I thought, I didn't, mm, wow. They're going to kill all them mice, Mo. And the scientists, have a, you know, ecology guys do yeah. it <laughs> because they saved the albatross. Yeah. Got to save that albatross. I remember when I was in school, there was a, a poem about the albatross. Oh, yeah. That's still a poem. <laughs> okay. That's a little, <laughs> that's just a little known but interesting fact. Okay. We yeah. have a lot of that really good shit yeah. at the show, don't we? Yeah. Now, here's another one. I was watching something the other day. Oh, it was in the Philippines. Yeah. And I was watching uh, them in the church. And they were all looking up at this big picture of a guy that looked just like me. Yeah. But more like uh, Will, um, Uncle Willie did when he out here with that long hair shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Redhead. Yeah. White. Yeah. Is driven snow. <laughs> Pure as driven snow. And I thought, that can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> These are, you know, the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, it can't be true. That's for I sure. But I guess he's the leader for everybody, yeah. is the way they look at it. Yeah. You're talking about Jesus. Yeah. yeah. He just had so much love, right? Yeah. That it was good for everybody. Wait, why are you saying that can't be good? Well, I thought they should have a Filipino guy up there. Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> because, it, yeah. you know, I think everybody should leave everybody alone and let them work out their own salvation with diligence. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I made that up, Mo. But I do think he was probably. No, like I didn't. That's bull. Isn't it like he was probably a black guy though, in reality, Jesus? If he was Jewish, he was. Yeah, which he was supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, because they were from Africa. But you know, the Russians yeah. in Israel right now, uh -huh. they won't let any of those guys in. <laughs> <laughs> they deny that. Yeah. Because they're really r racist Russians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm talking about the leaders. Yeah. Yes, I am. Because, you know, I had a romance. Oh, that I, I was going to say this. I had a little romantic adventure with a Jewish girl. Yeah. yeah. She was very aggressive. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. <laughs> and when you think someone's aggressive. <laughs> Here's another thing. Now I forgot. Oh, I think I got to get married. Yeah? Yes. Why is that? Because I've never had a really good one. Yeah. I want a really good one. <laughs> Why can't I have a really good one? <laughs> I, I know, know some that. guys out there that had really good ones. Yeah. And, you know, most, mine wasn't too bad for a while. Yeah. But God, it got rough at the end. <laughs> and they usually do. Ten years after, it got the worst. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so quit quit praying to that ginger savior. <laughs> That's what I got down there. <laughs> don't either that or don't listen to a word I say. Yeah, do whatever you want. Why? The, okay, let's sing another song. Okay. Why? Okay, I only got sad songs. Is that okay, or do you want to do? Well, I do you want to feel the blues? Watch the news. Fella came on TV because that's what you were about to do when I interrupted you. Oh, oh, did I? Yeah. Was I? Yeah. I always go to that one to relax. Yeah. That's well, look, maybe yeah. we should do it. I kind of want to <laughs> relax. <laughs> no, but don't we have to do little places? Yeah. What did you say we do that in? We do that in like this a, is a podcast. A sharp B sort of area. But I don't think we've never found the perfect really spot. Really? Eh? I was feeling the blues. What's that right there? That's A sharp. Is that A sharp? Yeah. Oh, maybe you already touched it because that's what I happens to I me as soon as I hear it. As soon as I hear it, then that's the thing that I remember. We'll find out right now. You better be good. <laughs> oh, you gotta go like that. Don't yeah. You? <laughs> 
that's a stool. You gotta make sure you're Get capable. Get ready with that pig, because every time I do something that you could learn from, which is right now, learn to do the songs in the right keys, kid. <laughs> kid. I was feeling the blues, watching the news. This fella came on TV. He said, I'm telling you, science is proof. Heartache is healed by the sea. That got me going without even knowing I packed right up and drove down. I'm on a roll and I swear to my soul that I'm gonna paint this down. Oh, bring me two pina coladas. One for each hand. I'm getting sail on a Captain Morgan. I ain't never gonna leave dry land Troubles, I forgot them Yeah, I buried them in the sand Bring me two pina coladas And say goodbye to your good time, man oh, Bring me two pina coladas And say goodbye Good time, man. Oh, now I gotta say that the wind and the waves, moon winking down at me, eases my mind by leaving behind heartache that love often brings. I got this smile and it goes on for miles with no inclination to roam. I gotta say a thing that I gotta say yeah, This is feeling more and more like home Oh, bring me two pina coladas One for each hand I'm sitting sail on a Captain Morgan I ain't never gonna leave dry land Troubles, I forgot them yeah, I buried them in the sand Bring me two pina coladas And say goodbye to a good time of man oh, Bring me two pina coladas And say goodbye to a good time of man Yeah, bring her two pina coladas and tell her to wipe her face. You got something on your face. It is blood. Blood. <laughs> well, that's even more reason to wipe it off. <laughs> it's been a bloody enough day without you. <laughs> you bloody, you bloody swine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bring me two pina coladas. Yes, sir, Barbarino. What a <gasps> brilliant shit we got to say. How to deal with, uh, no, I'm not dealing with that at all. Empaths and Asperato, mm. I've already done all this crap, haven't I? Do some fun stuff. Some nice well, what about this is got anything Halloween? Mm, that's kind of dark. No, that's Well, it's Halloween, dark. so do you want some darkness? Well, not like real about darkness. About people exuding their anger <laughs> slowly so people can't really see it. Yeah. And grab it and hey. say, you bastard. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I do. People exude it. They exude it. Uh, it it's oozes. called passive aggressive. It's called it oozes out and it hurts. Yeah. So, I just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> just to the Wizard of Oz, we covered it. We covered it. We talked yes, about that we already. Did. Just like Jack said, you can't handle the truth. Yeah, we covered that too. I'm not going to talk about none of this crap. No, you wanted to sing some more songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Rainbow Nation. Power spots. Power spots in the Rainbow Nation. That's what we were talking about. Who comes out on continuous election fighting Russians? Yeah. <laughs> because we know about the brain. Yeah. And it all it does is puzzle games and stories. Yeah. To evolve. Yeah. Which involves procreation. Evo yeah. No. Sex. Yeah. And procreation. 
yeah. and evolution. Yeah. When you get a huge stinking problem, yeah. that's what gets your gr brain growing the most. Yeah. You're the most evolutionary when yeah. you're solving your biggest problems. Yeah. So you can, you know, when a big one comes along, you go, oh, geez, this is really great. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like when it's like how all the biggest inventions <laughs> come about because of war. Okay. There is some truth to that, but there's also a lot of bullshit to it. Oh well. You know, if you uh, somebody's really suffering, yeah. this is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> and you go, oh, growth oriented. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to feel to out it. the it situation. It is, it is, yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. That's why you got to sing it. You yeah. don't say it. Yeah. 95% of communication yeah. is nonverbal. Oh, yeah. wait. Singing is verbal. Unless you're just no, like no, but it's Whoa. most it's emotions. Yeah, it's the emotions. Uh, well, it's funny how many people don't pick up on lyrics though, so it's not really that verbal. Like, born in the USA. Ah, okay, and that's a school. That's a discuss singer songwriter discussion <laughs> by the <laughs> kick back and chill out to the mellow sounds of the singing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you want mellow sounds? Yeah. I'll give me some mellow sounds. Okay. Let's do it. All right. I just. The first word. So that. Well, I love her. Wait, oh, oh, that didn't sound good. Well, I love her. But I love to fish. Spend all day out on this lake. Hell is all I care. The day she met me at the door, said I would have to choose. I hit that fish in whole day. She be packing all her things and she, she gonna be gone by noon. I'm gonna miss her when I get home. But right now I'm on this lake shore. Sitting in the sun, I'm sure it hit me When I walk through that door tonight I'm gonna miss her Oh, look at there I gotta buy I'm gonna miss her Well, look at there I gotta buy There's a chance if I hurry, I could beg her to stay. But the water's riding, the wind's just perfect. There's no telling what I might get today. Hey, I'm gonna miss her when I get home. Right now I'm on this lake shore I'm sitting in the sun Sure to hit me When I walk through that door tonight I'm gonna miss her All of you there Got me a bite Hey, I'm gonna miss her Oh, look at that. I got a bite. I'm going to miss her. Okay, now before they bring the doggy do out, I just want to No, you don't bring him out. Yet. Oh, yeah, we've got to sing the song. Yeah, okay, but I want to say something. Okay. You know, I was talking last night about that uh, cocaine and rhinestones dude. Yeah. And you're saying, and I was saying, oh, shit, they're, they're writing about us. Yeah. The right stories about us. Yeah. And you sort of pooped on it, you know, because mm -hmm. you think you got to be like world famous or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you something. What? You go and get each story uh -huh. and bring it on here and just give a brief outline of what it was. Yeah. And I'll beat it. Okay. How about that? Okay. We do that. Okay. And the other thing is the final story of being the first thing to ever bypass Wall Street uh -huh. and go big time. Uh -huh. That's uh, that's trailblazing. Yeah. That's bigger than the people they're talking about. Oh. Those people all just went and got labels. Well, I guess we better do it. See?
I'm gonna miss her. Ah, oh, looky there. I got me a bag. Speak words and truth. Truth is in reality. How much is that doggy in the window? Oh, the one with the waggly tail. Oh, the waggly tail. I said, how much is that doggy in the window? Oh, oh, I do hope that doggy's the same. Sunshine, singing a sunshine song. You got to put a smile upon your face as if there's nothing wrong. You got to think about a good time that you had a long time ago. I think about forgetting about your worries and your woes. Walking in the sunshine, singing a little sunshine song. So you all go walking in the sunshine and sing a little sunshine song. What was it called? I forgot to say that. Halloween 2018. Pretty perkin' scary. <laughs> all right, keep the cards and letters coming in. We're going to see you in the pun, because that's where we get all the smart shit from. And we're going to see you in the punny papers. And you have yourself a good old hallowed evening, Sam Mahane. What is it? Sow so, what? Sowin. Have yourself a good old Sowin Halloween Dolce Vita. And the Espanola, they have a dose of them and Sam Sow Mean um, Chow Main. Um, meet us, we'll meet us at the corner of Chow and Main. No. Dolce Vito to you, <laughs> Espanola. And the Prince Vivant to have a gitan, little uh, strong, <laughs> you know, the coffee. <laughs> and the Dolce Vito.